welcome to a new episode of low point in this episode we will be discussing on the uniform civil code when we hear about uniform civil code many people have the misconception that whether the uniform civil code will take away the minority rights whether will it affect our religious freedom but this is not going to affect neither our minority rights nor our religious freedom the uniform civil code will apply only to the personal laws the personal laws are uh, regarding marriage divorce succession inheritance and adoption it will deal with all these points the intention of uniform civil code is to bring the laws regarding all these things a uh, uniform one india one law when we study the history of india we find uh, the race of uniform civil code after independence the constituent assembly gathered to draft the constitution so in the initial stage the uniform civil code was in the part 3 of the indian constitution that is the fundamental rights it was article 35 of the constitution if it was in the fundamental rights the government has to make laws and it's a justifiable by a court of law when it was the constitution was drafted the members of the constituent assembly was in support of the uniform civil code the women members of the constituent assembly supported the uniform civil code the first prime minister of india jawaharlal nehru also was in favor of uniform civil code but the muslim members were not in favor of uniform civil code they said that it will violate the right to religion of the citizens of india the constitution should maintain the cultural rights of the citizens of india so on the basis of this there was a, a strong debate on the uniform civil code so after the debate the constituent assembly has decided to have the uniform civil code in the part 4 of the constitution of india that is the directive principles of the state policy so the uniform civil code was taken from article 35 and it was placed in article 44 so that is the Uh, the small history of the uniform civil code the chairman of the drafting committee of the constitution dr b r ambedkar said when india is ready to accept the uniform civil code it has to be implemented there will be a time when all the citizens of the country will accept the uniform civil code it should never be imposed on the people on the basis of that the uniform civil code was in article 44 and it, it's still continued now the government is thinking that this is the right time to implement the uniform civil code for the citizens it's because the supreme court is asking the government continuously to bring a uniform civil code there are so many issues regarding this when we deal with the uniform civil code we cannot talk about uniform civil code without talking about the judgments or directions given by the supreme court of india in 1985 first time the supreme court said to the 
government to bring a uniform civil code in the case of Shabanu. That was the case on the maintenance to Muslim uh, women. In 1995, in Sarla Mukdal versus Union of India, the Supreme Court said to the government to bring a uniform civil code. In 2021, there is a case of Mina community in the, in the Delhi High Court. There also, the court asked the government to bring a uniform civil code. So the government is bringing the uniform civil code under the guidance or instructions received from the Supreme Court and the courts of India. So we are confused whether the government is bringing the uniform civil code at this juncture to popularize the political agenda. When we talk about the uniform civil code, definitely we need a uniform civil code. The mind of the, the fathers of the constitution was that India should need a uniform civil code. But at the same time, we have to think what the 21st Law Commission said. The Law Commission said that the Uniform Civil Code is neither desirable or nor necessary at this moment. So we have to respect the words of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. The Uniform Civil Code has to be implemented when all people accept it willingly. It should never imposed on the citizens of the country. Thank you.